hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is gloria and this is gloria sum of skill so guys if you're a returning subscriber thank you for watching and if you're a new viewer thank you for tuning in and please encourage me by subscribing to my channel it's make my channel grow so guys in this video i'm going to be teaching how to make laundry detergent soap so this is homemade powdered detergent so these are the quantity of the material that i use so keep watching So guys, this is a caustic soda. It serves as a bleaching and cleansing agent, or you can also say it's a stain remover. So this is sodium lauryl sulfate, known as SS. It serves as a foaming agent. And this is soda ash. It serves as filler. It helps in making your soap big. This is sodium trypolyphosphate. It helps in removing hard water. So it's a water softener. This is a foaming agent known as siphonic acid and the next is fragrance. I'm using vanilla fragrance. So guys, if you want to start any production, there are some things that you need to put into consideration. So you have to cover your hands, please. Cover your hands. But some of these chemicals are corrosive. So the first chemical to start with is soda ash. This is 500 grams. So what I'm trying to put in there is siphonic acid. This is 120 ml. So you make a hole and put it. Then you stir it. Just Baby, you the second thing to put in consideration is make sure you are doing this in an open place. Do it outside where there is air. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. After giving it a good mix, I'm going in with SAS. This is 150 grams. SLS solution is the hardest chemical to dissolve, so try your best as much as possible to stir it properly. You have to do it with hard work. Okay, so the next is STPP. This is 30 gram. I'll be going with water. This is normal drinking water. So uh, this is 25 ml. So I'll be using syringe to measure it. I'll be measuring 10 ml plus 10 ml and 5 ml, making it 25 ml. So after that, keep stirring. So guys, the measurement of the water is not that necessary. Okay, just make sure your soap is in steamy solid state. That's the only important thing you have to do. I'll be going in with caustic soda. So after putting it there, it keeps stirring. This is 20 gram. guys the last material we are using is fragrance it's 
so this is vanilla fragrance please i did not say vanilla flavor i said vanilla fragrance it's different so keep staring So after stirring, keep it under the sun for 4 to 5 days for it to get dried. So after that, you put it inside the blender and blend it. So there is this um, color that I have here. So I just brought out some soap just to put some color just for decoration. It's, this is not necessary. If you want, you can just leave your soap like that. So this is blue color. So I'm going to keep it under the sun. this is day three I couldn't wait for five days so I just want to show you the outcome so this is it is still in lump so I'm going to put it inside the blender to blend it Baby, you skip this part if you don't want to add it into your soup it is not necessary so you can skip it our detergent is ready so it is time to know how it forms so i'm going to be testing it in this bowl so i'm going to add some water put some detergent into it to test it thank you all for watching you can do your own production at home guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it makes me to know that you like my video give me a thumbs up and leave a positive comment to the comment section and i will see you in my next one